if it's if, if you're married or if you're a mother this is me time for mommy or um, you're a career person everybody needs to know this is my me time you switch off your phone you know and it doesn't even have to be expensive got to be intentional about the type of things that you do um, 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 there's a lot of things I could actually go into uh, which nowadays as children of God for example uh, Welcome to the Women of Divine Connections Conference. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us about your work? A very good morning to you too. Um, I'm Mobile Nkosi. Uh, I'm a Christian counselor, a Christian coach, and um, I'm all, also a mentor and a beauty and image speaker. Ma'am, can you tell us for how long have you been in this industry? Okay. Well, it's basically been from uh, 2008. Um, I'm not very sure how many years that is, <laughs> but since 2008, um, this is what I've been doing. Um, I previously would do it uh, in our church ministry, um, to the ladies' ministry, and um, until I decided that I was going to skill the anointing, I went and got training for it, and um, I'm now doing it professionally. What are some of the key elements that can help women in their career feel powerful? All right, so essentially it's, it's really just about um, taking care of self. Um, that means taking care of yourself, how your image um, is portrayed to the outside world. But most importantly, I always say it begins on the inside. So the key elements really, I would say, it's how you present yourself to the world, your image outside. How do you take care of yourself um, as well as also your personal health? So those are key, key elements for me. So it's the inner work that needs to be done that ends up on the outside as well as your uh, personal health. Would you also say this also relates to the type of um, community one surrounds himself with the, the upbringing, if you could say that. Absolutely, because I believe that, uh, just as the Bible tells us, uh, that we need to be careful of the company that we keep. You know, we get people that um, bring us down the whole time. Mm. They don't help us to feel confident. And so the community that you surround yourself, there's got to be people that um, build you up help you to feel confident. But the most important thing also is you rising above your own situation. Mm -hmm. You could be in a community that is bashing you or that doesn't understand you, but you have to be self-determinant and make, make up your mind that I'm going to rise above the situation or the, the, the place that I'm in and have a vision of where you want to go and chase after that vision. So ma'am, how can a, one, a woman maintain the self-care routine while managing their personal lives, their lives at home, being a mother, a wife, a sister, how can they just maintain everything and also being like having their position in their workplace, how can they maintain it? Okay. So it's, it's all about being intentional. Mm. With everything we have to be intentional. If you, if you want to do something, you go after it. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and claim that I've, I've nailed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> because there's, I know that I'm supposed to make time for myself. Um, in my busy schedule, I've got to make time for myself um, and be consistent about it. Um, so sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But really the advice is um, be intentional about setting time out. Let everybody know that, you know, this is, this is, this is me time for, if, it's, if, if you're married or if you're a mother, this is me time for mommy or um, you're a career person. Everybody needs to know this is my me time. Mm. You switch off your phone, you know, and it doesn't even have to be expensive. Get into the bathtub, put essential oils and all that stuff they put in there and put on your, your, your worship music and... You know what, it ends up becoming me time between you and God as well while you're taking care of yourself. Mm. So the key is intentionality, really. So with more on a personal de development on a woman, how would you say that they should align it spiritually with their faith? Okay, but please say that again. With a woman's um, personal development mm -hmm. and how they take care of themselves, how would you say they should align it with their, spiritually with their faith? Okay. Um... I'm trying to think how I can, I can, I can, I can put this. Um, because for me, to be honest, it really just goes back again to just being intentional. Um, you, you, set, you, you set time aside. You set how you want things to be. Mm -hmm. You've got your spiritual life that you need to live, and you've got your personal development that you need to, t to take care of. You can't, you can't say you're taking care of yourself and then you're going to the pub. 
um, as a child of God, for example, that is not taking care of yourself mm. because you are now taking care of the flesh. And we know what the book of Galatians says about that. It's warring against the spirit. Mm. So you, 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 you've got to be intentional about the type of things that you do. Um, 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 there's a lot of things I could actually go into, uh, which nowadays as children of God, for example, um, we do and we're not aware that they're actually not, we shouldn't be doing them. Sitting there doing yoga, you are connecting to something thing the question is what is the thing and you are telling yourself no I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of myself uh, I'm developing myself we, we've got to be um, yeah, intentional about your, what you're doing and what it is that you are doing what role does grooming in career advancements and leadership roles play in a woman's life a very big role I'd say because my mantra is you dress how you want to be addressed the way you dress is part of your personal image. The, the way you walk is part of your personal image. You can't walk into a room with your shoulders slouched and uh, in the corporate world and you expect people to have confidence in you. You can't walk um, into a corporate space with an image of somebody that is not dressed appropriately um, and you expect to be able to climb up the corporate ladder. So you, you, it is uh, very important, it plays a huge role. The way you look, the way you walk, the way you speak, it all plays an important role. People trust people that look good, it's a fact. People trust people that speak well and, 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 and seem and appear confident in themselves and um, they will always put their trust in you once you are that. Yeah. Mami, thank you so much for coming here today and I hope that this conference has also impacted you personally and career-wise as well and we believe that God is about to do more things in your life. Amen and amen. Thank Jesus you so name. much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, ma'am. Go and say you look beautiful. Say it with conviction. Come on. Look at them and say you look beautiful. Do you believe it? Do you believe what your neighbor is saying to you? Does it sound like it's for real? Does it sound like it's true? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, I want to acknowledge the leadership in the house. I want to acknowledge the men of God, the Mount Fundisi, all the leaders in the house. Thank you so much for having me and all protocol observe. We honor you. We love you. I, I love old people. I really, yeah, I really have such a heart for Abantabatala because of the wisdom that you carry, because of what you've been through in life. And we can also glean from that. So God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to say to you Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 that you probably already know says arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you amen, amen. hallelujah say it with me arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You can even personalize it. Even in your own Bible, put your name in there and say, Arise, Nobi Ileman, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you, Nobi Ile. It is written up, is risen upon me. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible tells us, I want to read um, particularly Psalm 139. And I want to read it from the uh, Passion Translation. I don't know if you've ever read it from there. But today, I think you're going to see a different view of the scripture. It says, I thank you, God, for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. Listen here, yeah, this is talking about you, ne? It's not, about, not talking about anyone else but you. It says, everything you do is, is marvelously breathtaking. It simply amazes me to think about it. Imagine, that is what the Lord is saying about me. Like, you know, it amazes me to think about what God has done. It says, how thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place. Carefully, skillfully, you shaped me from nothing to something. Hallelujah. Now, this is a love letter from God to you because he's encouraging you that you are beautiful. You're probably wondering, okay, what's all this got to do with image and beauty? I'm here to tell you that 
It's got everything to do with image and beauty. A lot of us, we walk around not feeling so good about the way we look. We think maybe something is too big or something is too small or something is not straight or something is whatever it is. But today, the word of God tells us that God shaped us from nothing to something. And that God loves us just the way we are. Amen. So as an image consultant, my job is to help you to accept yourself the way you are. So in my business and when I speak to ladies and minister to people, corporates and everyone, I premise it on the fact that accept yourself just the way you are. There is never going to be another you. That you are the best version of yourself. So you might as well accept yourself. I mean, the previous speaker spoke about looking after our health, self-care, and all of that. It all forms part of the package. And so in order to arise, we have to do something. How many people know that to do is a doing word? That means you must do something. That means you must get up and do something, change something, fix something, remove something. Even the way you think has got to change. You can't just sit and think that things are going to change. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies, as you can tell, I'm a very noisy person. So I love it when my crowd also comes along with me because that helps us to be confident in ourselves. Now today I want to tell you that if anyone ever told you that you are not beautiful enough or they told you that you are too mm, or you are too mm, or you are whatever, I want to tell you today that my sister, mama, Coco, whosoever, you are beautiful just the way you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Hallelujah. And it all starts on the inside. It starts on the inside. It starts with the way you think about yourself. If you think you're not good enough, if you think you're not beautiful enough, just because of what they told you when when you were growing up, just because of what you have made yourself believe, guess what? That is what you're going to be. For the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, I'm here to encourage you. By the way, I'm an encourager. I motivate. I encourage people. So you need to know that you are just special, just the way you are. Hallelujah. And in order for us to be able to arise and to take over, there are many challenges around us in this life. How many people have gone through challenges? Maybe I'm the only one. Any kind of challenge, financial challenge, relational challenge, a self-confidence challenge. <laughs> I'll tell you a personal story. Ne? Uh, I used to, uh, maybe let me preface it this way. I- I'm now all right, ne? But when I grew up, I used to, I'm going to be very open and vulnerable with you. When I grew up, I always, I never liked my body, especially my legs. Uh, I used to feel like my legs were very big. So I would always wear skirts right up to my ankles. If there were skirts to the toes, I would do that. I would wear skirts to the ankle all the time because I felt like my legs were not nice. And you know, it started because I would look at everybody else and I thought, hmm, she's got beautiful legs. And you, you must know in my head, you know, you are the slim ones, the skinny ones. So I mean, being good in mind, they are a bit, they are biggish and shapely and all of that. So being as turned. And as a result, it affected the way that I thought. How many people identify with me? How many people agree or who have something in their mind that they have always looked at about themselves? Some think their arms are too big. Some think maybe their lips are too small or whatever it is. We all have that one something. Ne? We all have that one something that we feel like, hey, God, it. you know, if only you had done it this way, maybe I would be better. If only it was this way, maybe I would be better. But you know what? There will always be that one thing because there will always be another person who has something that when now you don't have that you wish to have so because I would think yeah no you know what and uh, it really affected my confidence as a result as I said to you I felt that I was not good enough 
until I learned, it actually happened, I, I love to evangelize. It actually happened when I was evangelizing uh, uh, in Soweto. And uh, I came, I, we, we actually went into a hospital ward where there were ladies who, were, who had lost hope in life. They had been battered by life. They didn't care how they looked. Their hair was going that way and, and all sorts of things. Their confidence was completely gone. That's when I realized that mm -mm, if I let this go any further, my mental wellness is being badly affected. My mental health is being badly affected. I didn't identify myself as the person that God speaks about in Psalm 139. And immediately I made a decision on that day that, Lord, I am changing this. That is when I started to speak to women, encourage women, because I had been encouraged myself. And I saw the consequences of not being confident in myself. Now, we've done the theory part. I'm not going to talk about what do we do then. I mean, we are all different shapes and sizes. God has made us differently. That's just the way it is. And that is what makes life what it is. So, there are different ways that we can all dress for our bodies. I have very little time, so I am not able to demonstrate anything or anything like that, but I'm just going to speak. But I will leave my details with Umam Fundisi in case you need to, 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 to ask any further questions. I will freely help you. Uh, and, and take you through the journey. So some of us, we are blessed, you know, around this area. There's a way to dress according to your body shape and size. Some of us, we are, a, it's just a description. Ne? I'm not saying you are that. It's just a description. Some of us, we are sticks, like, yeah, and then, yeah. So straight, we're a stick. We are, they are straight people and then they are sticks. So you can't fight with me. I'll be done. All right? So there is a way to dress for that body and still look beautiful. You don't need to walk naked to look beautiful. You don't need to, to wear robes, you know, to, to look beautiful. You can just look elegant as the dress theme of this event is today. And you know what? When you do that, uh, your confidence, your confidence in your mind just goes to another level. And this is required in order to take over. Because taking over, like I said, starts in your mind. It's a mindset shift. Once you shift your mind about how you think about yourself, about how you see yourself, the way you deal with situations, any situation that you meet, it also aligns to that. The same applies to our Koko. Let's give hands to our Koko. They are looking beautiful, are they not? I can really see they made an effort. I mean, like it's, it's, it's beautiful to, to look at. So well done, well done, well done. So you know what? You, you really, it's about you just understanding what is my body like. So you can't now be wearing tight pampanana stuff, you know, just because it's trending, just because it's in fashion. Fashion comes and goes. Fashion comes and goes, trends come and go. And if you're just gonna be a wave, just going after everything that comes, the young ones are now wearing skinny jeans, guess what, now you're wearing a skinny jean. The young ones are now wearing, I don't know what they now wear, these all oh, crop tops. And then you know us, some of us, most of us, yeah, we have a situation here. It's petama three liter, now it's so far, it crop top. No, 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 you cannot do that. Take care of this temple, for it is the body, it's the temple of God. So take care of it, look after it, amen. Hallelujah, you know, I, I have a daughter, ne? Uh, she's, she's 27, I know I don't look that old, but I, I, I actually I'm not old, I'm young and, and, and I'm wise, you know, because I look after myself. I, I make sure I look good. I try my best to look good. And I will do, uh, I do check what's, what's trending and all of that. I'm not going to lie, ne? I do check what's trending. But I, in fact, I'm a break. I, I don't make it extreme. You know, there was a time when they had the, the, the makeup where the brows. No, you can't do that. You cannot. You cannot do that. Even, even, even you know, when before there were the microblading and things, 
I'm sure about Dala will remember or the more mature women. Pestati raise. You remove everything that the dear Lord gave you. You take your child's permanent marker from their pencil case. And then you draw your eyebrows on. And then you thought you were it. You thought you were looking good. No, 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 no. You do not do that. There is a way to look after yourself. You look good minimalistically. Yeah, minimalistically. Less is more, they say. You don't have to put too much. But you know what? While I'm saying that, it's okay if you're a person who likes too much. Because, you know, normally our makeup and the way we dress is according to our personalities. Okay? Some of us, we like just a little. Like, I'm a conservative personality. I don't go too much. But I never, ever, ever judge anybody who goes too much. Because I understand that is how God made them. I understand who they are. Just as long as you do it correctly. Ne? All right. So... I'll just give a, a few examples just to give you an idea. I can't go into it all, but just a few examples. Remember, Lapana, we spoke about the stick, ne? We spoke about the straight uh, 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 lady. Now, when you are dressing up, it's all about balance. It's about creating balance. So what you want to do, because you've got a, 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 this straight body, you want to create some form of balance. You see what I'm wearing here? This is a peplum top. So when you wear something like this, it creates a bit of balancing on the side, just to make you not look so... Yeah, it just creates a bit of... So you are not... And then if you are very... Yeah, I mean, I am quite... Yeah, but then if you are very, very... You, you, you stay away from things like this. The reason I wore this is because I wanted you to see my beautiful waist. Because I have a waist which comes in like this. As I'm describing myself, see yourself in me, those who are like me and take the tips I'm saying. So I'm cinching my waist in because I want your eyes to go where my waist is. Naturally, our eyes go the, according to how we dress. So if, if, if you are big all here, don't now go and wear big things or wear a big flower, uh, a skirt with lots of flowers down here. Because guess what? Naturally, people's eyes go there, where it's all busy, where it's all freely and all of that. And yet you don't actually want people to see that. So you keep it plain here. And then if you are, you know, you are, you are, you are confident of yourself up here, then you put all the bells and whistles on top here. Because naturally a person's eyes will go here and that's what they will see. So it's about hiding things. That's how we look good. So if you have a face, let's say some people, okay, I'm just all over the place. As I say, I, I really, I, because of time, I'm just trying to touch everything and leave you with something that is valuable to you. So please do excuse me for appearing haphazard, okay? And so if you now then have, some people have got very wide faces and all of that. Some have very thin faces, long faces rather. So if you are like that, you want to then, we, there's this thing called contouring and highlighting in makeup. Hey, now all of us contour and highlight, even when in the wrong places. So there's places to, to highlight means to bring out. To contour means to make thinner and hide. So you need, if your face is very wide, then it's okay for you to, 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 to contour all these areas so that you try and make your face look slimmer. Amen. And then if you know you, know, you know you have a nice straight nose and all of that, then you, don't, you, you can then just highlight a little bit there. You don't need to contour it. It's already contoured. Otherwise, you're going to look like you don't have a nose at all. Uh, unless you do it properly, you do it the right way, then you look good. Amen. Hallelujah. And then let me quickly go to the hairstyles. Ne? Then the hairstyles. Hey, I'm a hairstyle. No, hairstyles, they trend. Like you get everything. I once tried this. Anything that would come in, I would try. And you know, some of us, our heads are not really shaped good for a chiscope. So, yeah. Anyway, so what you want to do, if you have a long face, avoid hairstyles that go upwards. Because if you elongate and you put a puff here, Guess what? Your face looks longer. Now people don't know where to start and where to end when they are looking at your face. Because I mean like, you know, yeah. So what you want to do, 
is you wear hairstyles that go to the side of your face. So it could be a bob that has curls, maybe. Because what, remember I said balance. Remember the word balance? Because you are creating balance. Your face is long, now you want to just balance it out this way a little bit. And the opposite is true as well. If you have a round face, oh, Uncle Siam, don't now go and wear big hairstyles that go to the sides of your head because you're going to have a big head. Remember, these are recommendations. I'm not saying it's hard and fast because we all do what works for us. We all do what we like. Amen. So tomorrow at church, when you see your sister doing what I said not to be done, please don't judge. It's what she likes. Just say to her nicely, do you remember what Sister Mobile said? What do you think? You're saying it nicely, but you're trying to remind her. Good hair, sisters, you know? Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, you know, as I was saying, when you are dressed good and you look good, you feel it. How many people know it and feel it when they are dressed well in the morning and they leave the house? Yes, this is what, yeah, today. Same way when you leave home and you know, because I also get those days where you're like, yo, hi, today, hi, hi, hi. Hi, mm -mm. Angaz, I don't know what got into me. How many people get those days also? I get them as well. Where you're like, Yo, se kai, then you just know, hey, yeah. But now you're late for church, you can't go back and change. <laughs> you just go. I, I have those days as well. <laughs> and, and you know, so, 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 you, you, but, and, and, and because of that, the whole day I'm not feeling so confident. <laughs> Because I'm so aware of myself. How am I going to take over if I'm not confident? How will I take over the world? How am I going to be confident and give advice and, and just conquer everything that comes my way? I can't. Because I'm busy trying to conquer what is on the inside of me. The fact that, hey, you know what? I'm not dressed so well. Or, 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 or maybe I, I'm not looking after myself well. Or, or I'm overweight or, or I'm underweight. Because we always talk about overweight and we forget about underweight weight. But you know, people have those issues. My personal mantra, this is just my mantra, is that as long as I am healthy, that's what makes me happy. And, 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 and I don't just say that to just please myself. Ne? I, I, I say it because I know that I walk. I prefer walking. Ladies, I don't know how many times I have, this is part of your image, Akir. I don't know how many times I've been to the gym and I've cancelled the, the membership. You know, the 599 goes, goes, and I'm not there. I, I just, I can't. I, I struggle with going to the gym. So I decided, God, I'm going to walk. And during that time of walking, it's my me time with God. When I'm walking, that's when I talk to God. That's when I hear from God. I don't even wear earphones because I'm disturbed. I, I literally want to walk without any earphones because that's the time that I talk to God. And that's the time that I download from God. Amen. So if any of so there's no excuse, there's no saying there's no budget for the gym. You just walk. If the neighborhood is not safe, just go round and round and round and round and round where you live. Like what we used to do during COVID lockdown. Amen. So I'm sure from all of this, you are getting the drift to Haiban. There is no excuse. There is just no excuse. You become who you want to become. It's by choice. So you can't blame it on ukoko, naboko, No, me, my mom, she was very big. So we have big genes in our family. I used to say that. Yeah, so we have big genes. And then I realized, Haiman, I've got this. I don't have to go that way. I must just look after myself. I determine my own destiny. I determine which way I want to go. And then I began to exercise and began to walk. Amen. Hallelujah. So, out of all of this, what I want you to know and to accept and appreciate is that you've got it within you. I want you to know and accept that you are beautiful just the way you are. 
Even if trends are saying, Uti, you know, being big is fashionable or being small is fashionable, uh -uh. close your ears and say, and easy, and busy, and look after yourself, your way, the way that you want, keep healthy, exercise, understand how your body is, dress for your body. If you need help, I'm here. I will help you to say, okay, this is how your body is. This is the kind of makeup that you should wear. And then... Oh, because also in the makeup, I, in makeup there's different ways of, hey, let me just say this one last thing. You know, red lipstick, I'm glad I'm not wearing red lipstick today. <clears throat> no, let, yeah, there's red and there's nude. Who remembers the days when nude came in? How we were all wearing nude? Nude lipstick, nude lipstick, Nayas. It's that one, eh, eh. What color? Can you see those balloons there? Now, those light brown, that was the nude color. There are many different shades of nude. So we had people wearing, you know, everyone was wearing nude, even if there's something called a skin tone and a skin undertone. That means, you know, how you are created, how you, what colors work best on you. So even our lipstick, the red and the nudes as well, it's not every shade that fits everybody. I'm sure you have seen some people wearing red and you think, oh, that's beautiful. You go and try it and you're like, oh, okay. You know, because your skin undertone is not for that. Same with clothes and colors, you know. I, I love the oranges and stuff like that. So if you see, uh, you might see my sister wearing an orange outfit. So you are to hide, your phone and I also want you go and you get the outfit, then you find yourself in trouble. You look like you are, you are sick or something, you know, eh, eh, but the other one looked nice. So you've got to understand what colors suit you. Don't waste money. Let's be efficient and effective and take over our finances as was spoken and not just go and waste money in the shops. Buy what you need because it suits you. Amen. There's so much to talk about, ladies, but I will stop it right here. And I'll thank you for engaging me. And I want you to stand up and say, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah.